we're going to read from the project Connected Memories that are presented this morning. And uh, this is uh, different stories from refugees uh, living in London. And it's a project I did actually in 2010. So they are all stories linked by different uh, links. So we're going to have three different voices and I'm going to start reading just with one of them at the moment. Yeah. Okay, my dad thought it was very bad for the children to be in the refugee camp because they were, there was cholera. I had no documents or a passport. I was long, I was gone, I was going to die. I was going to die because I give you breakfast and you need to get to me. I don't know that. You have a chance to apply. I'm a refugee employment advisor, so if you're interested, you get to believe it. If things work and through the Turkey, no, you know, of okay. course, at that time, believe advisor, it or not, so I don't okay. know that you have a chance to apply your for safety, refugee status. Your life, it's pretty passport. I don't have a passport. It's a travel document. I, I think they're going to give me, but I still, I don't know. I don't. I, I cannot try. I still feel free. free. That is what I was looking I for. I was living in the capital city of time. Ethiopia. Right. But I, I didn't want to tell why I came to London. I don't have a passport I have yet. to leave in a hurry. Yeah, I mean, in Holland, we were in a refugee camp. We learned the language, but we didn't do anything. But it, it you know, I speak five languages, five languages. Sometimes I think, of course, what happened separated me from my family, my country. But it I got very hard. I don't have a passport. Said, People are mean, suffering yeah, here. I know Even how I they cannot feel travel. being in the tension. I, no had no I had no documents or passport. passport. Praying for my God. I said, I know my name, and this is what was my passport. I said, I, this is my name. It looks like a prison. You I wake up, they give a breakfast, and you Holland. stay inside all day. The rooms were full Either of insects, in and full of people for language. one or two. I said, I know my name, in and that's it. There are I many was people sent sometimes. to camp for refugees. Refugee. I stay there for about three occasions. You, five months. speak five languages. I'm also doesn't matter. Sometimes more than one country. The facilities are not bad. But there is no all. We were in I have been in the detention center for three occasions for nearly five months. I was separated. so lost. I was lost. Have there are many people who learn things from refugees. I didn't. So some benefit from languages. Some 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 to come for refugees. That's about seven days. Of course. Of course. I don't, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, I can't no speak this time. I'm a refugee employment advisor. So it's okay. It's interesting. For it's seven unbelievable. Days. All it this thing like is prison. working you through Turkey. Up. Like you see My on the dad thought country. I was very it was pretty amazing. It was very bad for children sit. to be in the refugee no camp. Or I was there. I there I was cholera, so, so my dad decided back into the country. I had no documents. I stayed there for about seven days. Uh, it after two like or three days, I was allowed to stay in Houston. But my wife and my child, oh, my head, they're, 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 they took me so long. But he lost. said, it doesn't matter where, as where, long where, where's as my I'm wife, safe. Where are my children? But I'm lost. Hold on, hold on. I, I went through a lot of difficulties. I came there for one day, the war broke up in October 1999. When the children voluntarily revolved after you, Rwanda. After you. I came to the refugees office. I learned a lot of English and worked of voluntarily. I worked for about two months until we are arriving. If you go to yeah. Turkey, because, because I'm a special place. No there are days oh, if you are you arriving again? in Iran, the situation, there are also because you are Iraqi, you are in the refugee again. If you go to Turkey, because you are Kurd, they are also after you. Well, we, we went through lots of difficulties After in Turkey. Yeah. We walked along, along. We didn't know where we were going. Iraq, we didn't know the language, the culture. We didn't know the place. We just followed the agent. Language. We continued so we English. There. English. Then English. Then English. 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 When I came to England, I didn't speak English. Some words, but it was like, oh, yeah. It was hard for me to understand the accent, especially in London. In London? I think it's a detention center. Of course, if you're arriving in Iran, the situation is English. Because you are Kurd. I don't know the language, I don't know the culture. When I came to England, I didn't speak English. When I came to England, I didn't speak English. In the UK, I learned English. In Iraq, we have English as a second language. So we study. When I came to the refugees, basic language. I mentioned, you know, whatever. I had no passport, I have no papers. 
I came to because your office and learned a lot of country. English in both London and Are you arriving? Of course, the only chance. I didn't decide. Country. I came to London when I left my country, and I said the only chance I didn't decide. In the detention center, in the UK, English second language. So we started to the English, 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 English. After you walked, Eve. For because of you, the border, the border. There, the English as a second language, Europe, the English, the English. Is always I managed to the communicate. Border, border, border. So it helped me. Border, border, border. I didn't come like other people who didn't know anything. When I came here, I didn't know anything. After you walked, how the country works, walk anywhere. I don't know. On all the doors, I don't know. The country, 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 my baby sister got really ill, and my younger brother was one year at the time. My cousin heard about this. They had me to escape. And I come there, I didn't know anything. I didn't know the country. I didn't know the language. In the country, I came to London. And I left. Yeah. I, came, I didn't Kill. speak English. I came English. to London. I could see the country. I could see the country. It's covered in darkness. I went to classes. I think when I was very dark. I went to classes in English. It would Classes in English. In English. Only if you are not Muslim, you are killed or forced to convert to Islam. For ladies one who were raped, another. in you were taken in your parents, no one just they decided to take one it another. The boys just get out, they just get out. I could see the country was covered in darkness. In 1993, they decided to kill our Hutu president. In 1993, when terrible things happened, massacres, people started chopping one another with machetes. The locals started hunting people down. It was between the Hutus and the Hutus. They were killing each other down, they were hunting each other down. They were doing killing and Doing each other, killing them, and hunting each other down is killing. After you, English, 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 English. I'm a refugee because I'm a refugee. I got kind of a smile. In the beginning, I said that I spoke a little bit of English, but I said, I'm going to go to the English, I'm going to go to the English. Thank you.